Good day. Thank you for joining me. I'm Ryan Kun. I'm going to be taking you through Howden Joinery's half year 2019 results. Howden Joinery is shown to be a cyclical company due to the nature of its operations being correlated to the UK consumer's disposable income. The current global situation, coupled with the uncertainty surrounding Brexit, poses a risk and could add pressure to the company's margins. The share is trading in line with the markets. As a result, we feel the share price is fairly valued, trading at a forward PE of 15 times, slightly ahead its longer term average of 13.66 times. We believe Howden is a good quality company with attractive operating margins, a high ROE and consistently strong free cash flow generation. In addition, dividends have been stable and balance sheet risk is low. This translates into a high confidence rating. Though we are concerned that margins may be squeezed in the current economic environment as UK consumers are coming under pressure. As a result, we have concerns around the overall valuation of the entity. Therefore, we recommend a neutral position relative to the Dow Jones Global Titans 50 index. Looking at a few financial highlights. Revenue rose by 5.4% as a result of a 6% price increase and a 1% volume decrease. Gross profit margins grew by 67 bips to 61.9%. This reflected a price increase in January 2019 and a more disciplined approach to margin management at the depots. This gain was slightly offset by higher input costs, discontinued products and a negative exchange rate impact. Adjusted operating profit grew by 11.6%, selling distribution and administrative costs increased by £16.6 million due to continued investment across the business, including new and existing depots. An increase relating to payroll and upgrades. Adjusted EPS increased by 15% in line with a rise in profit after tax. The group lifted the interim dividend per share by 5% to 3.9 pence. Onto the cash flow. Cash flow from operations increased by 11.13 times to 56.3 million pounds. This was driven by better cash conversion ratios and a 48% decrease in working capital costs. CapEx rose by 41% to 24.1 million pounds because of the 50 new depots that were built and opened during the current period. The group has enough cash on hand and has generated sufficient cash flow to fund its share buyback during the current period without negatively influencing the operations. Moving on to prospects. For the first four weeks of half year 2 2019, revenue rose by 7.5% compared to the same period in 2018. During 2019, the group expects to open an additional 40 depots, which includes 15 depots open in 2019 thus far. Operating costs are expected to expand by 15 million pounds for full year 19 due to the closing of its operations, digital upgrades and inflationary pressures. Management expects full year capex of between 70 million to 80 million pounds. If you would like to place a trade, please speak to your financial advisor or contact the trading desk. A comprehensive company analysis report can be found on PSG Wealth's online trading platform. Before we end off, please take note of the following disclaimer. Thank you.